Hello and welcome to another Magic the Gathering video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Magic the Gathering Deck Builders Toolkit for the 2014 core set. So what I've found is good about these Deck Builders Toolkits now is that they synchronise the release of these with the release of the core set. And that's quite important if you're worried about uh, cards being legal for say a format like standard. So we're going to see how that affects um, the, le the legality of these cards in, that we get in the box. So what do we actually get in this box? Well looking at the outside we have 125 semi-randomized cards and I'll explain exactly what uh, in terms of this product semi-randomized semi represents once we get the box open. Uh, we get four 15 card booster packs from a variety of recent Magic the Gathering sets and again it'll be interesting to see which ones you get and how long they could be legal for. A hundred basic land cards, a deck builder's guide and a learn to play guide and also the box itself uh, is a reusable card storage box. So let's get this open and have a look inside. I think really these toolkits along with the uh, Fat packs are my favourite magic products. Okay. So as with uh, the current 2014 stuff, uh, Chandra is prominent in the artwork. Here's our box with the spacer so things don't move around. Okay, so we have a number of different subdivisions that this is split up into. There's our packs, which we'll have a look at in a moment and crack. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually look at the inserts. And the reason why I'm going to do that um, is because I'm after the one that explains the content, because this will give us some indication of if you go out and buy one of these what to expect because of the semi-randomized element. So first up we have the, the how to play guide so I just put that to one side and then if we open up this what we're looking for is hoping it's going to tell us the number of different here we go yeah okay so the, they talk about deck themes now, if we look at here, I'm just going to go through these. So we've got Life Gain, Counter Burn, Slivers, Sacrifice, Library Depletion, uh, Red Green Aggression, Skies, they call it. Uh, a lot of people might call it Flyers. Tokens, Red White Swarm, Mana Ramp, and Black Control. So if you count that up, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 different themes. Okay, so those are our themes. So why is that relevant? Well, within this uh, product, the packs, and we'll know once we start to open, form distinct groupings. So what you have here is in this pack and also probably part of another pack will be your 100 basic lands. In another pack there will be a number of fixed cards um, and what that is is basically there are 85 cards, 16 of each colour and one artefact. And then in another pack there will be a, a number of cards sandwiched between Trans Guild Promenades now those 10 cards, which are six commons, four uncommons, form our themes. And what they do is they give you four of those themes in these packs. So you get four out of a choice of 11, but of course they've made the choice for you. So what I'm saying is you don't know until you open this, what are the four themes that you could get in a pack. So that's where this idea of semi-randomized come from. Some of these things never change, like the 85 fixed cards, and some of it, the, the four sets of 10, if you like, are selected from a possible 
11 different, so that's four from 11 different themes. In addition, you have the four boosters and they are 2014, Return to Ravnica, Gate Crush, and 2013. Okay, so this, at the moment, these are all standard legal here. So what we've got to watch out for is we're watching out for any cards that I would say either aren't from 2014 or aren't from the most up-to-date block. And the most up-to-date block is a Return to Ravnica block. So that has Return to Ravnica in it, Gate Crash and Dragon's Maze. Um, because those will not be rotating out of standard until October of next year. October of this year, 2013, will be rotating out of standard, as will the Innistrad block. So that's Innistrad, Dark Ascension and Avacyn Restored. So again, you just when you're opening stuff like this and you want to know what the longevity of the product is, if you're paying a certain format, which rotates, keep an eye open on the, on the cards in there. So that's my just sort of first warning. So let's open up the planes pack here. This is all M14 land and I've, I've done numerous videos with M14 land in it, so I'm not going to go through the whole pack. But what I will do is again for the people out there that like myself are big fans of like the land just so you can see the core set land a lot of the core set land gets reused on other core sets so we'll just quickly go through these will just be organized um, in clusters of the four artworks so with a lot again with a lot of sets you get four different types of artwork per color of mana so once we've just seen that one just in case you didn't see me open the fat pack yet I will stop going through these so organized here and then back to our planes so that's basically the same artwork and it's just going to repeat itself so within one of these other packs is the rest of the land. So let's make a guess here. See what this first pack might be. There's the rest of our land. Stop the back of this pack. Okay. So there you go. There's the rest of the land, bringing our land up to 100. So what do we have in this one? It's the rest of the cards. Well, this actually looks like these are the... Uh, a group of fixed cards. Okay, and I'll go through these individually in a moment. I'm just trying to identify it so I've got all this stuff together. So I think this other pack with pacifism on the top is the rest of our fixed cards. So let me open this and then I'll show you all of these. So it all makes sense. And I'm just going to look at the, again the colouring on this. Yeah, that looks like what we're looking for. Okay, so our fixed cards. So with our fixed cards, these are taken from each of the five colours in the, the magic colour plant pie. And we should get a 16 of each colour and an artefact. So really what these cards represent is cards that they're all mainly commons. There's a few uncommons. I think there's two in each colour normally. Um, and these represent cards that are very typical of the colour. So you might want to call them staples, I suppose, although they're not always the best examples of a, of a, of a staple card in that colour. So let's see what we've got. Well, we've got two pacifisms. And again, just keep an eye on the, on the sets so that we know, you know what's the longevity of this. So we've got some M14 stuff here, two pacifisms, 
um, a hive stirrings, seller of songbirds. <clears throat> so that's from Return to Ravnica. Fortify from M14, Master of Diversion, Assault Griffin, Dawn Strike Paladin, Avenging Arrow from Return to Ravnica, Capuchin Knight, Sunspire Griffin, Angelic Wall, Griffin Sentinel, Suntail Hawk, Sira Angel is one of the uncommons in this colour, and Blessing is the other. So you can see a lot of M14 there, some Return to Ravnica. Okay, now we move on to the blues. Paralyzing Grasp, Divination. So that first one was Return to Ravnica, M14. Frost Breath, Archimancer, two of those. Windrake. Void Welder, Stealer of Secrets, Messenger Drake, Seacoast Drake, Doorkeeper, Cancel, Disperse, Tome Scour, and moving on to our uncommons in blue, Opportunity. Skyline Predator. Okay, so again, um, what I'm really looking out for there is, is anything that's either not M14 or outside the most recent block because there's a rotation in October of this year where the Innistrad block would rotate out uh, along with M13. So again, we're just looking out for anything that might rotate out this October if you're playing standard. Ring Flesh, Mind Rot, Festering Newt, Stab Wound, Duress, Liturgy of Blood, two of those, Child of Night, Nightwing Shade, Accursed Spirit, Corpse Hauler, Death Gaze Cockatrice, Drainpipe Vermin, Minotaur Abomination, Doomblade, which is our uncommon, along with Corrupt. And again, looking at those, yep, we're good. Okay. Red now, Shock, two of those, Act of Treason, Chandra's. Outrage, Annihilating Fire, Seismic Stomp, Goblin Shortcutter, uh, Regath, Regathan Firecat, Pitchburn Devils, Viashino Racketeer, Blur Sliver, Dragon Hatchling, Tenement Crusher, Riot Piker, our uncommon here, Gutter Snipe and Flames of the Firebrand. In green, we've got Centaur's Healer, Predatory Sliver, Cruel Warrior, Aerial Predation, Elvish Mystic, two of those. Those are um, functional reprints of. Uh, Lanamor Elves, Deadly Recluse, Brindle Boar, Spore Mound, Rumbling Bailoff, Giant Growth, Troll Hide, Hunt the Weak, Axebane Stag, Bra Pack Alfreys are uncommon along with Howl of the Night Pack. And then our finally our colourless, or one colourless here we get is Sliver Construct. Okay, so now we move on to our, I suppose you could call it the, your theme sandwich. So sandwich between the four Transguild promenades, which are always in these, this particular issue of the toolkit, 2014 one, 
is going to be our themes. Okay, so first up we've got Leave Sky Night. So just looking at this straight away, we've got white, blue here. This looks suspiciously like this is what they call the Skies theme. Warden of Evos Isle, Air Servant, Jolene Sphinx, Sun Spy Griffin, Frost Breath, Tower Drake, Assault Griffin, Concordia Pegasus, Hands of Binding, and then our next Transkill Promenade. So again, in there, only commons and uncommons. Okay, Vitu Ghazi Guild Mage. So this is green, white, Call of the Conclave. Straight away, this looks like the tokens one. If that isn't, yep, tokens. Uh, slime Molding. Tristani's Summoner. Courses Accord. Centaur's Herald. Tristani's Judgment. Druid's Deliverance. Eyes in the Skies. Seller of Songbirds. And the next Transguild Promenade. So that was a tokens theme. Okay, Sunholm Guild Mage. It's got a red white card here. True Fire Paladin. Righteous Charge. Fire Fist Striker. Show of Valor. Viashino First Blade. Master of Diversion. Riot Piker, Sky Knight Legionnaire, Wojuk Halberdiers. Notice there's a number of battalion creatures here. So this would be our uh, red white swarm you've got in here. The Trans Guild. Okay, it's green blue. Nimbus Swimmer. Seek the Horizon, Urban Evolution, Woodborne Behemoth, this is Manor Ramp, Verdant Haven, Gate Creeper Vine, Axbane Stag, Divination, Axbane Guardian, and Void Welder in there. So, yeah. Again, just commons, uncommons, but that is, as they call it, mana ramps, like a green blue mana ramp theme. So we had uh, mana ramp, red white swarm, tokens, and the other one was skies. Okay, so the only thing we've got left now is our boosters to open. Um, one irritating thing about that, this I think, is the inclusion of the 2013 core set. It's fine if you're not too tied up with playing standard, but this will rotate in, out in October. Obviously some of the cards, because they've been reprinted in 2014, like 50% of the cards um, in 2014 would have been in a previous set, so some of them may come from a core set. Um, you're going to get some cards in here which would still be legal, because they're legal in, in other sets in standard. Um, but uh, you think they could have put in, I don't know, instead of like three boosters from the most recent thing, so Ravnica Gate Crash and uh, Dragon's Maze and the 2014, and not worried too much about this. But anyway, that's uh, as it's a marketing ploy to get you to buy more stuff when this uh, rotates out. Okay. Let's have a look in our 2013. That's not to say, of course, you won't get some good pulls in here. Okay, Silvercoat Lion, Mog of Flunkies, Unsummon, Prey Upon, Divine Favour, Avon Squire, Vastwood Gorger, Arbor Elf. Reckless Brute, Giant Scorpion, Garrett's Pack Leader, so we're moving on uncommons. 
Ring of Zathrid, that might be Primal Clay. Oh, we have a Sun Beetle Grove, so this is nice. Green White, Sun Beetle Grove enters the battlefield tapped unless you control a forest or a plains. And we get a forest, funny enough. Okay. So nice jewel land in our first booster, which we open up next. Let's do this. Let's do this in chronological order. Electricery. Crosstown Courier. Launch Party. Essence Backlash. Hussar Patrol. Is it Guildgate? Dagadrone Imp. Esperia Skywatch. Lobber Crew. Concordia Pegasus. Archweaver, so we're moving on to Run Commons. Rakdos Charm. Treasure Find. And Desecration Demon is our rare. So Desecration Demon, if you've not seen this rare before, Two and two black gives you a six six and its abilities are flying. And at the beginning of each combat, any opponent may sacrifice a creature. If a player does, tap Desecration Demon and put a plus one plus one counter on it. And Mountain is our land card. This is one thing. Okay, gate crash next. It's Daring Sky Jack, Towering Thunder Fist, Bioshift, Hojek Halberdiers. So we're going to see, start to see some cards in here that are either going to complement our themes or are going to double up on cards that we already have in here. So they're going to like complement our toolkit. Uh, Slate Street Ruffian, Orzog Gilgate, Adaptive Snapjaw, Bomber Core, Midnight Recovery, Elusive Crisis. Tower Defense, so now we're moving on to our uncommons. Dustmantle Guild Mage. And Five Alarm Fire is our rare, so that's one colorless, two red for an enchantment that whenever a creature you control deals combat damage, put a blaze counter on Five Alarm Fire. Remove five blaze counters from Five Alarm Fire. Five Alarm Fire deals five damage to target creature or player. We also have a foil here, which is Wild Wood Rebirth. So that's a, a common one and a green return target creature from your graveyard to your hand. And a forest and a spirit token. So our last booster, 2014 core set. Blood Ban Shock Claustrophobia Fog Messenger Drake Hunt the Weak Death Gaze Cockatrice, which I think we've already got in our toolkit. Cancel Wild Guess Canyon Minotaur Moving on to our uncommons, a cordis shield, windstorm, dragon egg. Okay, scourge of Val Valkus. So this is a mythic. So we pay two colorless, three red. We get a creature dragon, four four, with flying. And whenever scourge of Valkus 
or another dragon enters the battlefield under your control, it deals X damage to target creature or player where X is the number of dragons you control. And for red, uh, if we pay red, Scourge of Valkus gets plus one, plus zero until end of turn. So that's obviously want, going to be wanting you to build a dragon deck around that. Um, and we have Swamp and a Goat token. Okay, so then we have the contents of the toolkit. Okay, 2014 core set. Um, so, so really with this, you know, what, what are you going to be doing with it? Well, one thing is, you know, if you've got decks already, maybe some of the staples in here are going to improve those decks. Um, you, could, you could do like a, a deck building challenge with this. I've seen people do where each person has one of these toolkits and then builds a, a deck from that toolkit. Um, other things is you can then, once you've opened this toolkit, you can then go out and buy some sealed product, like a you know, construct pre-constructed deck, which actually complements what you've got in your toolkit. So there's plenty of opportunities to do that. Um, if you're gonna build just using the toolkit, there's lots of different approaches. You can just sit down, build from the ground up, you know, separate all the cards out into their colors. Um, another way to do it is to look at the, the themes you've got and then look at the bombs you got with the um, and then all the good cards you got with the uh, boosters and just see if there's any uh, synergies or any overlap there and then basically what you do is you take the theme that best complements your booster pulls and then you use the color staples to complement that because obviously we've got certain common mainly commons and a few uncommon staples in each color which we can do that so there's plenty of deck building opportunities obviously with this deck builders toolkit and you don't just have to use it to complement you know if you've got a deck already and you're trying to improve it there are other ways that you can use this you know as a, as a standalone product if you want to just you know they, these are 25 dollars so as a sealed deck exercise they're you know, quite an interesting thing you can do if you've each got one of these. Anyway, there we have the 2014 core set, Deck Builders Toolkit. Thanks for watching.